Good morning, everyone. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. Thank you so much for joining us. We love having this time with you every day. And we, we look forward to it. We look forward to just being able to, it just feels like we're all kind of gathering together in this little space in the Lord's uh, vineyard down here in the middle of all the insanity that's going on around the world. God is so good, you guys. Father, before we go any further, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a holy God for being all-powerful, almighty, all-knowing, all-wise. You are truly amazing. Thank you for your love that you pour out freely into the lives of your children. Thank you for the discipline. Thank you for the direction. Thank you for the help we need every day because we know you're working in us. Thank you, God. As we continue this short little time we have together, we pray over every single person who's listening now or who will be listening at some point in time. And we ask you, Father, have your way. Bless each one to, to come to know you more or even for the first time and to begin that relationship with you. Bless each one. Father God, you're our creator. You didn't make us so that we would just be a mess, lost, and all of that. You created us to be with you. So bless us to do what you want us to do, to walk in the fullness of the life you've given us here on the earth. Bless each one of us to fully receive your Son, Jesus the Christ, to really repent of our sins, to completely turn away from them, and only to you keeping our eyes only on you and what you want. Bless us, Father God, as we go through the things we have to go through every single day. Bless us to always keep at the front of our minds that we are created in your image for you. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for the grace that helps us walk out these things. And Lord, as we spend these few moments together this morning, we ask you to speak to us in a way that we can hear and understand. And for those things to go deep, deep, deep into our hearts and to spring up, bringing forth good fruit. Thank you, Father, in your precious name we pray, Lord Jesus, the Messiah, the living word of God. Amen. You guys, there's a word that's rolling around in my head. Actually, a couple of them. One of them is crushing, crushing, and the other one is enduring. I want to read to you just a couple of verses out of the book of Hebrews in chapter 12. And if you recall, in chapter 11, we're reading about the, uh, the faithfulness of the ones who were, you know, the mothers and fathers in faith from thousands of years before the Lord even showed up. And so the writer goes on in chapter 12 and he says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, meaning all of those who went before in their faithfulness. Let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and have you forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons? 
My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him, for the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. So here he's talking about endurance and the faithfulness of, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to endure all the way to the cross so that he would be seated in the joy that was fully his to receive at the right hand of his Father on the throne. And then I go back into the book of Isaiah, the Lord reminds me of chapter 53, where God says it was his will to crush Jesus. It was his will to crush him like a flower that you would crush to get a more beautiful fragrance out of. And then the Lord says to us, okay, I'm going to crush you and I want you to endure. <laughs> Think about that. I'm going to crush you and I want you to endure to the end for the joy that's set before you. So, dear family, if the crushing means you have to go through things like health issues or relationship issues or loss of loved ones or uh, financial issues or whatever you have to go through, whatever you have to go through. I think Father wants us to look at it like he is allowing things and even brings things for the crushing we need to, to try our metal, to get us to the place. And, and he, it's like he stands there and says, are you gonna endure? Are you going to say, even as hard as this is, you will not turn away from me. You will continue to follow me. You will continue to be humble. You'll lay your life down. You will endure to the end. Are you going to do that? Those are the people God is looking for. Those are the ones he's saying, I'm calling you. I want you to be with me for all of eternity. And so to all of us, he would say, are you willing to endure? Remember when uh, Jesus was talking to the all of the crowd that came and some of the things he said were so hard. They, they just, they said to him, the crowd said, well, you know, these things are just too hard. We're just, we can't do this. And they turned and left. They'd been following, but they turned and left. They didn't endure. They walked away. And remember Jesus turned to his disciples and said, are you going to leave me too? And do you remember what Peter said? He said, you have the words of God. Where would we go? Where would we go? You guys, the same is true, is true for us today. Where would we go? There is none other. There is no other place. There is, it does not exist. We want to be with our Savior, our Lord, our Creator for all of eternity. And so he's going to crush us and he's going to see if we will continue to follow faithfully every single day if we will endure to the very end of our lives or if we're just going to say like the crowd did with Jesus your sayings are too hard we're leaving we're not going to no we don't want to do we don't want anything to do with you my prayer and Chuck's prayer for all of us is that we would have the strength and the courage the conviction the absolute determination that we will not walk away, that we will not let the trials or the fires that so, you know, the things that come, that the things that so easily beset us, the sins, we won't let those things be the things that stop us from enduring. We will continue to repent when we need to. We will continue to take up our cross every single day. We will continue to walk with patience and love and, gen and gentleness and kindness and all of those wonderful things it talks about in the book of Corinthians in chapter 13. To the very end, we will honor our Father and our God. He deserves it. 
God bless you guys. Thank you once again for joining us here on Morning Sessions. We will see you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. Have an amazing day with the Lord. He made it. Bye for now.